let's take it to the garage real quick. Let's just take it to, you know, let's, you know, let's, let's get loose with it real quick. And I'm going to show you guys how to flip your first house, no money down, right? Real simple lesson. We ain't going to be here long. I'm just letting Eugene get set up. This is my, my hype up, right, while he gets set up. We ain't going to be here long. I'm not going to keep you all long. You ready, Gene? All right, we mic'd up. We ready to go. We got YouTube. This is for, this for my YouTube following. Make sure you all subscribe. If you're on Instagram and you're not on my YouTube, you should be subscribed to the J Mr. Real Estate YouTube. Facebook, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube or you're not following me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube or follow me on Instagram at Mr. J Morrison. Instagram, if you're not on my Facebook, make sure that you go to the J Mr. Real Estate Morrison Facebook fan page and like my fan page while you subscribe to my YouTube, right? Everybody meet everybody. Let's get it popping. There you go. So, we're going to talk about how to flip your first house, no money down. The easy way. Let me get my trusty notepad, post it. I need one more. We're going to show you how to flip houses the easy way. No money down. This is one of probably five or six or seven ways you can flip a house with no money down. I'm only going to share one. You only get one, one without being a student. You only get one on social media. The rest you get in our academy, in our school. It would do right here. Perfect. I'm going to wrap this mic up so it doesn't drop. Hope you guys are enjoying Facebook. I need you guys to share this. We're going to crush the gurus tonight, all the guys who have these real estate systems and are so braggadocious about their real estate careers. Oh, mind you, for those who don't know me, my name is Jay, Mr. Real Estate Morrison, a.k.a. Young Malcolm. I'm the CEO and founder of the Jay Morrison brand, which is parent company to the Tulsa Real Estate Fund, a Regulation A Tier 2 SE certified crowd fund that focuses on urban redevelopment and financing the redevelopment of our community and stopping gentrification. Also the CEO and founder of the Jay Morrison Academy and Jay Morrison Real Estate Partners and a host of series uh, development and real, real estate related or just businesses or companies, right? So I'm a business mogul, long story short. Been in the game. 13 years, started as a loan officer, worked my way to branch manager of two mortgage companies, then into realtor, then into investor by age 25, bought my first house, three houses by 26, six by 27, made my first million in real estate by 28. I'm a three-time author, two-time best-selling author, NBC's TV personnel, real estate uh, expert, NBC celebrity realtor, open house NYC, and formerly the first African in America, male, hired by prominent property, Southern Beast International Realty, the world's leading luxury real estate company, right? That's a little bit of my resume and my stats. I've been mentor and coach to tens of thousands around the country, and our school, the J. Morrison Academy, has taught wealth building and real estate entrepreneurship to hundreds of thousands, virally, virtually, through social media and other platforms where we are putting people on the game to what changed my life at 25 years old, real estate and entrepreneurship, and learning how to formalize my hustle and take my gifts into the business world off of the block in the corner until I accelerated and excelled in the corner office to become the business mogul that I am today. I have no formal college education. I am formerly an 11th grade high school dropout, three-time felon who served two and a half years in prison in seven different prisons, grew up in poverty, former Section 8 kid, former welfare kid who has uh, an inspirational life story, but the vehicle and tools that I used in order to elevate in my story and provide for my family, start to build legacy for my family and to myself, and how I grew uh, this, I won't say massive because it's not massive yet, but I would say this thriving and growing enterprise. Uh, I'm going to show you some of those skills, or at least one of those skills tonight, one of dozens of strategies that I use. I'm not a real estate house flipper. I'm not a wholesaler. I'm not any of the crumb snatching words. I am a businessman. Well, mind you, business mogul, because I am one of the most important business and real estate minds in the country, right? So tonight, I'm going to give you a little key strategy, just a little sample of what 
I teach in my school, the Jay Morrison Academy, and offer what we offer in our one-on-one -on -one coaching, and also the type of opportunities and capital and money that we can help uh, provide you or service you with from a lending standpoint, and all these other good things. So, first and foremost, we're gonna talk about flipping a house. So, the focus of this is gonna be residential real estate. Residential real estate is any real estate that is one to four units, right? And quite honestly, this strategy can work for commercial as well. Commercial real estate, any real estate that is five or more units, also including lands, also including apartment buildings, also including strip malls, hotels, hospital, and any real estate out of this one to four unit uh, subcategory. So this strategy actually will work for residential or commercial real estate, and it's how can you invest with no money down and flip your first house, right, without any money down. Now, there's, again, there's several strategies to do this. This is, this is light work. This is like um, real estate elementary. It's like real estate 101. It's kind of like preschool for real estate, but it's what most of the general public doesn't know by no fault of anyone's own, because I didn't know this till my mid-20s, because no one ever taught us a game. Unless you come from an affluent or wealthy family or a family that has successful entrepreneurs within your lineage, you probably didn't learn this at home, you definitely didn't learn it in high school, you probably didn't even learn it in college if you made it that far. So part of the game, right, in this particular strategy is we're gonna talk about using unsecured funding. Right? And it works as simple as this. So if you identify a piece of real estate, that real estate could include a multifamily property. It can include land. You might find a parcel of land that is attractive to you, either to build on, to farm on, or uh, create any kind of other real property from that land. Also, we can look at, we'll say, small apartment units. Right? Any of this kind of real estate that we are, that you identify, let's throw a purchase price to the real estate, right? So it's always an acquisition price or purchase price on all real estate. So we're gonna say our purchase price in this case, we're gonna say, boom, 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 boom. matter of fact, let's take land, right? Land is fun, we always do houses. Let's say we, we found a straight plot of land, right? So we found this plot of land and this plot of land in our neighborhood is $27,000. Boom. So we know we can get this land for $27,000. Now the next thing that we would do before we would go purchase it is we wanna find out from the city what's the zoning for the land. And if this land can be built on, and if it can be built on, what kind of zoning would the construction be? Would it be for residential homes? Would it be for commercial properties? Would it be for storefronts? Would it be industrial? Would it be zoned just warehouse? Is this land wetlands? Is it zoned farmland? What is the land zoned for? And then we can know what best use we have, right? So in this case, let's pretend or hypothetically say the city came back and said, you know what? This land is, is not industrial. It's not warehouse. Uh, it's not even residential. We're going to say that we're going to call this land commercial mixed use, right? So this land, we're going to find the zoning for the land, right? So our zoning is going to be commercial mixed use. So what that tells us is that we can put up a commercial property on the land, but also residential as long as they are a little bit of both, right? Usually an equal share of each. So in that, that zoning commercial mixed use, we're going to say we have an idea on this, we'll call it half acre, this half acre plot of land that we got in a town like Cleveland, in a town like Detroit, in a town like Baltimore, in a town like Atlanta. All over the country is plots of land you can find for this kind of price range. So we're going to figure out what the zoning is on the land, and now when we find out the zoning, we're going to get with the architect and the builder and the engineer, and they're going to give us some drawings and a blueprint on what we could build with the land, right? So it's what can we build on this land, right? So now we say, all right, we want to build a four unit with two stores. Cool. Cool. 
So we know we can get a four unit with two stores on this land, half acre commercial mixed use. And so then we'll get some building costs, right? So now we find out that our construction cost in order to put up this four unit in these stores is gonna be 175,000. Right? I'm gonna switch up markers on this real quick. See, I'm gonna give y'all some real game, like not no fluffy game, like some game game. So boom, we're in it for 175,000, right, to build. Then at that point, you would get with your team and you will find out what's the time frame to build, and then you would figure out your financing, so you could figure out your carrying costs over that time frame. How long would it keep? How long would it take you to finance this project? Pay the taxes, pay utilities, etc. Over the course of this project, so we find out that this will be an eight-month project, probably like six, but. We'll call it eight months. And then we find out that this project is going to cost us, say, through uh, a bank that we reached out to. The bank says, you know what? We're going to need, uh, we'll call it, we're going to need 20% down. So the bank wants 20% down, down payment, DP. And, you know, with the taxes, insurance, and the fees for the loan outside of this 20% down over eight months, this project is gonna cost us, we'll call it, seven, we'll call it 1,500 a month, right? So $1,500 a month to do this project times eight months, zero, carry to four, eight, so that's 100, what's that, 12,000, right? So yeah, zero, four, eight, yeah, yep, 12, five, excuse me, no, no, it's 12,000. 12, so it'll cost us 12,000 and what's called carrying cost to do this project. Right? So we got 12,000 carrying cost. Our down payment of 20% is going to be 17,5 or 17,5, right? So that's 35,000. So 35,000 down payment, right? That's another cost. And then we know we can purchase the land for 27,000, right? So I done took it up a, net, a level further, not just from going you how to flip your first property. I'm going to show you how to build and flip your first property with no money down. And that's just off the dome. So check it. We know we need 27,000, 35,000, and 12,000 carrying costs. But now what we're offering, what we've been doing this last year is that we found an algorithm. We found a way in order to get unsecured, uncollateralized funding from banks all throughout the country with no tax returns needed, no employment needed, no bank statements needed, right? No collateral needed, and where we can get funding for any kind of businesses, right? So you go, so for me, I know this unsecured fu funding process comes through our easy funding, right? So the first thing I'm gonna find out is okay, I need 27,000. Well, when I talk to my lender, my lender tells me that that the, on any land that we already own, that we can build on that land and the lender will finance it as long as the, our all-in cost is 80% of the total project, sometimes 90% of the whole total project. So here's what I mean. In this project, and we know we're gonna buy the land, right? This is our, our, our purchase price. 27, we know that we're gonna need 35,000 down to build on it or a total of 175,000 and 12,000 carrying costs. So what our lender's gonna look at is this purchase price and this build cost. So we're gonna say that's 190, that's 195, that's 202. So here we go. Our all-in cost for the project is 202,000. Right, you got that? Our purchase price, Plus our build, total build is 175, 202,000. So before we go press go and spend any of our money or risk any of our investment, what we're gonna do, we have to find out what would the after repair or after construction value be of this property. If I build this new property, what the hell is it gonna be worth? If it's not gonna be worth more than what I'm all in, there's no point in me doing it. So here's what we do. We find out, or we get our appraisal or we get our comps for or after construction value, ACV, after construction value. And now we might find out that if we put this new unit up on this property, 
these things are selling for 200, let's say 50,000 for even numbers, right? So you buy it, you build on it, you figure out the after construction value, 250,000, and now the bank says, anything over 250,000 will lend you. So we'll lend you 80% of your total cost, right? Or, or, your, or your value. So if we get 80% of our after construction value, if the bank will loan us that much, then we know that we got zero, four, at 16, 200,000. So we got a bank loan, a bank loan of 200,000 based on a bank, bank loaning us an 80% loan to value, right? That is 80% loan based on the value of the property, right? After construction value. So mind you, we're all in 202. So the bank will loan us 200, we're all in 202 to buy and, and rehab, and then we know we got another $12,000 in carrying cost, right? So here's what that looks like. We gotta have this money in reserves, because this is gonna be our eight months to do this project. So to make sure that we're not undercapitalized and we go into foreclosure or short sale, or we can't benefit from this property, we make sure that we buy right. Today, I just closed on a property, right? I could have posted it on the gram, but I'm gonna post it on the gram. I closed on a property, six figures. The property, the, 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 the development didn't go as well as planned. It was a nightmare deal. It was a total headache. But we bought right. And so because we bought right, we were able to mitigate any losses, right? So you wanna plan out beforehand so if something doesn't go right, you've already scheduled out a budget to be able to cover your losses or any potential losses. So here we are, we know to do this project, the bank wants, so what we can do, here, here's the plan. We need 27,000 to get this land because with this land, the bank will refinance us at an 80% after construction value. So the first thing is we need 27,000 for the, for the land, the rest the bank will do, the bank will give us two, uh, 200,000. That means we still got to come up with two more thousand. And we got to come up with our 12,000 carrying costs. So a total of $14,000 we'll need between our all in, what the bank won't cover, that 2,000, and our 12,000 carrying costs. So we need 14,000 and we need 27,000 to actually acquire the land. Boom. One, four. So we need $41,000 to do a project where we go into, acquire the land, refinance with the bank based on our construction value, right? Our construction budget and our after construction value, get an 80% loan from the bank of the value, which is 200,000, build out this brand new four unit with two stores, right? And we, the down payment will already be included in our refinance, we cover eight months of carrying cost to cover our butts, and we cover the 2,000 left over from the bank loan. So boom, now all we need is $41,000 to make this project happen. So how do we do it with no money down? Really simple. I told you about our easy funding. In our easy funding, which I'm gonna give you guys access to, our average student is getting $50,000 of unsecured loans from the beginning. The way it works is like this. Our students pay a simple $500 application fee. If they are approved, typically you need between a 640 and 680 credit score to get approved, and you'll need some other personal credit qualifying uh, just items in your profile. Nothing major, right? No bankruptcies in the last two years, any of that. But even for those who aren't immediately approved, right, you're either immediately approved for funding, some people, will not get denied. We don't believe in denials. You'll just get delayed. So if you apply for the funding and you're not immediately funded, you go into our funding preparation. Funding prep, which will help boost your credit, repair your credit profile, and get you ready for funding later on, right? So our average student is bringing in $50,000 of unsecured funding. So let's bring it like this. We're going to move this one over here. Facebook, you better be sharing this. This is the Garage Mastermind. I'll bring the office to me.
Cool. So check it out. We need 41,000. So our average student in our credit to cash easy funding gets $50,000 in their first round of funding, not a loan. So I don't mean that you get $50,000 loan and then you have to pay back the loan the first day that you got it. No, this is revolving credit. You only pay on what you use. So if you don't use a 50, you don't pay on a 50, right? So in order to get to the 50, you have your $500 application fee, right? This was $1,000 for holiday time. We slashed it in half, 50% off our application fee till December 31st, 2017, right? For your $500 application fee. You apply for your easy funding, credit to cash easy funding. You get your 50 on average. Some students 71, some 141, some students 37,000, depends on your profile. But we'll walk you through how to get the perfect business profile and personal profile to maximize funding with no employment needed, no W-2s needed, no bank statements needed, no income statements needed, no financial statements needed, right? All you gotta do is have your score and a compliant profile, which we'll show you how to build. So with this 50,000 now, you get a project like this where you need 41,000, our funding fee is 10%. You gotta pay us, that's five grand, 45,000 net. So you get your funding first. After you get your funding, we do get paid. We are entrepreneurs. I am certainly an entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, I exchange valuable services and products in exchange for fair compensation, right? Now, I give my time in lessons like these, in lessons on the corner, and donations to GoFundMes. I am a philanthropist as well. This is not philanthropy. This is my business. So in my business, as an entrepreneur, I exchange great products and services in exchange for compensation. So in our funding, we don't ask you for any documentations, very limited documentations. We'll work with you to build your credit, get authorized users, get trade lines, delete inquiries, get your bankruptcies removed, get your judgments removed, get student loans removed. We'll do all that through our funding or funding prep services. I got you. I'm 13 years in, I know the game. If you ain't figured it out by now, that's on you. Right? I got this, and I ain't going nowhere. My office is 3355 Lennox Road, Atlanta, Georgia. Right? So this is not a, a guru, coach, house flipper, wholesaler behind the camera who's not really in the streets. This is what we do on a day-to-day. -day. So now you're able to get your funding. We got, you got, we got our application fee. You got your funding fee. So in essence, what I'm saying is, I'm going to give you 50000 It's going to cost you 5000 on the back end, no money out of your pocket. So you get your 50,000. So if I said, look, I'm gonna give you 5,000, you walk away with, I mean, excuse me, you pay us a funding fee of 5,000, we'll make sure you get 45,000. Now, if you don't know what to do with this 45,000, or you can get 45,000 from your uncle, or from Wells Fargo or Bank of America, then go get that money easier if there's no funding fee. Go find 45,000 with no tax returns, no employment, and no bank statements with no funding fee. Go do that. If you can't do that and you want to do a project like this, I'm going to show you how. So through our funding, you pay your funding fee, you net out means you walk away with 45,000. Now out of that 45,000, you go buy your $27,000 piece of land. Now with that piece of land, you then go to your bank and get your refinance, right? No money down, because you already own the land. Your bank does its 80% LTV refinance, and the bank will give you 200,000 based on that ARV. You will owe two more thousand to close your deal, plus your 27, so now you're in it for 29, and then you will put to the side of your 45,000 another 12,000 for your carrying cost. So now you got your 12,000 carrying cost for eight months of your project. So now you've spent 27 and two is 29 and 12 is 31, 41,000 of your 45,000, which leaves you with 4,000 left over for just in case and now, the same property, you can go refinance again and pay your credit to cash off because actually, once you refinance this 200, it would have covered your 27,000. You would have paid that back. 
or you just flip this property that you got for all in 202, you now sell it on the market just say for 230. Say you cut the market in half and say this property's worth 250, this brand new four unit with two stores is worth 250, you put it on the market for 230. You're only in it for 202. 230 minus your 202 you're in it for, now you clear 28,000 in profit. Even after your 12,000 carrying costs, if it went that far, minus 12,000, you got $16,000 in profit. So now you find yourself in a deal where you use no money out of your pocket. You use all the bank's money, from easy funding to your bank refinance. No money out of pocket, paid your closing costs, no money out of your pocket, paid your carrying costs, no money out of your pocket, netted out $16,000, Right? Netted out $16,000 and walked away with an infinite ROI on your investment. Why do I say infinite? We can simply do this. We can take 16,000, the mathematician that I am, 16,000 divided by our 202,000 that were in the deal, and that's a 7.9% ROI, right? based on a 200,000 overall the project, 7.9%, not bad, still beat your bank. But then we can look at what we're actually in it. We're only in the deal for 41,000. So let's look at that ROI, cash on cash ROI. So now we take 16,000, but you only invested of the bank's money 41,000. So now you're looking at a 39% ROI. 39% return on investment in eight months on a project like this where you use 41,000 of other people's money better than the bank's money, TBM. So your TBM ROI is 39% return on investment of the bank's money. Your total project ROI will be 7.9%. But again, that's even more of the bank's money. But now when you look at the actual investment out of your pocket to do this project, you're talking about no money down to do this deal. If we want to get petty with it and say, well, you know what? We did spend $500 to do the deal. So we made $16,000 divided by your $5,000 investment. We're talking about a 3,200% ROI on your investment. 3,200% of the $500 you spent. So maybe if you want to count your application fee as money out of pocket, it's not no money down. It's 500 down, but in real life, this is a no money down deal done using the bank's money. If you want to count your application fee, you're still making a 3,200% ROI. If I'm half wrong, you're still making a 16, a 1,600% ROI. If I'm half wrong at that half, you're still making an 800% ROI, all based on your application and your no money down deal using the bank's money. So that was my quick little lesson for you. I'm going to give you guys uh, this is just one of my garage masterminds. So this week, for the next 10 days, closing out the new year, this is like a, a, a new year ending campaign, a holiday campaign. So what I'm doing from now, December 21st to December 31st, the next 10 days, I'm gonna be doing a countdown for the next 10 days. And I'm gonna be showing you not just real estate, that was my only real estate one. I'm going to be talking about nine other businesses. This is my first business, being a real estate investor. Now, over the next 10 days, every day till December 31st, we're going to be going over 10 days and 10 businesses. And how you can fund those businesses, but how you can profit from those businesses. I want to show you as a business mogul, as a successful CEO, I want to show you how not just real estate, but how you guys can benefit from some of the top businesses that you're interested in and how you can find your true return on your investment and become the entrepreneur you say you want to be. Everyone says they're tired of a nine to five job, they're tired of rat race, they're tired of being a tenant, they're tired of, tired of being tired. So now I want to give you a game on how you actually can crack into 10 different businesses. The first one we just covered was real estate investing. Right? Or real estate development.
So, what we're going to be doing to match this special, as I told you, 50% off to December 31st of our credit to cash, easy funding. This is everyone's opportunity not to get free money. This is not grant money. This is not play around money. This is the bank's money and a platform that we're offering you guys to get up to a quarter million dollars. I talked about the first round of 50,000, wherever that is, but over a course of a year, we'll delete your inquiries, we'll bring you back to the bank at least four or five more times to get up to a quarter million dollars in one year of unsecured money, no employment, no tax returns, no bank statements needed, no collateral needed, unsecured business funding, right? So we'll show you how to create the business you need to get this funding if you don't have a business yet. Don't worry about that. So where you guys can learn more about this is www.jmaeasyfunding.com, right? www.jmaeasyfunding.com. You always can feel free to call our office, one 844 join jma Right, that's Monday through Friday. I'm gonna see Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and sometimes even later. So here's how you can apply for our funding. Go right to this website and learn more. Read up on it. Those questions you got about the funding, go to the website. Read. Watch the video. Right? Or call our team if you're if if you already read and watched the video, and you still have questions, or you're still not clear. Then you call our team. Don't be lazy and go ask for our team questions you could have read your damn self. That's not being a good entrepreneur, business owner, investor, or whatever it is. Be sophisticated, be civilized, build your A-game. So second to this, as our 10-day bonus till the 31st, we're also gonna be giving 50% off our tuition of our one-on-one -on -one coaching. Of our one-on-one -on -one real estate investor, wholesaler, developer, coaching. 50% off till 1231 of our coaching. I'm gonna give you the site for that as well. So that will be our big site, which is www.jmorrisonacademy.com. You also can call this 800 number as well. So for 50% off our one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you go to our website, click the coaching tab, read our different coaching options and packages, but right now it's 50% off our one-on-one -on -one coaching. This, and not only is it 50% off, our one-on-one -on -one coaching was three months. I just increased it. 50% off plus three extra months, so six months of coaching. This six months of coaching also includes our residential real estate investors course and mentorship program. This investor's course is six months of mentorship, over 26 exclusive lessons on real estate investing. You'll get the six months of mentorship, the 26 lessons, three extra months of the actual coaching, all for 50% off. And then we're gonna back you up and show you how to get the actual funding to apply to what you just learned about actually being an investor. So there's no point in you getting the funding if you don't know how to flip, if you don't know how to invest. So we're gonna give you and show you the layup to get the money, easy, and to get education online. This is our online program. And this is our one-on-one -on -one in-person program, where it'll be over the phone, Skype sessions, fly into our office, whatever it is. But look into our 50% off one-on-one -on -one coaching program. It's our beginner's package. This is not my exclusive package for me. This is our beginner's package. Plus it comes with our, wealth, uh, our residential real estate program and looking to our funding. This is just me giving you the how to. So I can give you the lessons and give you the game, but if you don't know how to actually form your business, if you don't know how to analyze a deal, if you don't know how to find your ROI, find your cap rates, build your team, brand your business, get your tagline, your logo, your websites, right? Develop your company, build out your operations, negotiate your deals. I'm looking at both cameras, like I got like five cameras here, so y'all see me like this, right? So I'll show you how to analyze a flip, analyze a rental. We could have took this whole deal and instead of flipping it, the same deal right here. Ah, one thing we could have did instead of flipping it, where'd it go? Oh, right here. We could have took this deal instead of flipping it, 
We could have looked at what's the rental income per these units. Am I getting 900 per unit? Right? What am I getting for the stores? 1500 for the stores? And then what does this rental income equate to when it comes to net, uh, net rental income or net ROI? So maybe we didn't want to flip this property. Maybe this property we should have refinanced it, bought it, built it, and then kept it for a long-term hold. And then kept the $50,000 of equity in the property and let the property appreciate while we get cash flow from all the rentals. Maybe it was a cash flow play. All these strategies are at your disposal and I'll show you all these things in our residential real estate course. For those of you who may not be uh, ready for our one-on-one -on -one coaching, you still can join our residential real estate investors course online or our beginners program. It's not that I'm trying to pitch you or sell you on our school or institution, I'm just telling you where the information is that many of you want to receive and don't know where to go to receive it. So if this information is attractive or enticing to you, Here's where you find us, jmorrisacademy.com. If the funding's enticing to you, you go to J J jmaeasyfunding.com. Or you call our number, 1-844-JOIN-JMA, as simple as that. But what's enabled me to be able to have a top-notch videographer, filmmaker, producer, director, actor, project manager, a talented person like Eugene Bush in my garage coming over from his busy day to come film me, the reason why he can support me in this capacity is because I built my organization and my infrastructure to a point where I have a team that supports my vision for my company. These are the things that I want to show you how to do. These people don't work for free. Brandon J. Wigley and Tosin and Janetta and Ty and Ernestine. Although she's my woman, she still works with my company. She's my partner, right? Amari, Eric, Damien, right? Like Mason, Allen, like all my staff. Like Lamont, who else? Lamont, what up, King King? Like you said, my team works hard. Like I think I said Corey already, right? Like whoever else I for Miss Melinda, my bad, right? People in my organization, like this ain't play play fake business. This like the real deal, solid, legitimate. How you build a strong organization and enterprise for yourself? How you build something for your family that's sustaining? At the same time, you could do. Any of the businesses I'm going to show you, I'm, going to show, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to reveal the businesses today. I'm covering a different business every day for 10 days. Real estate is just one business model amongst many business models. We don't got to be stuck at being wholesalers, house flippers, and crumb snatchers. So if you know how to invest in real estate, which I can do with my eyes closed, but you also know how to run other kinds of businesses because you are entrepreneur minded and not just flipper minded, you can bust these moves and hold on to these strategies and use them as you wish and at the same time run and work other business models and other strategies at the same damn time. You plant all your seeds, you nurture your seeds in the between time, and then you wait for your harvest. Some deals gonna work out, some businesses gonna work out, some aren't. But when you have set up your, your you've, planted those seeds and you set up your opportunities and prepare for them because of what you know. Too many of y'all don't understand how to fluidly analyze not just a real estate deal but a business deal. How to understand your business or personal net worth. How to understand how to boost or build your credit. How to build your business credit. Get your DUNS number. Get your EIN number. How to build your compliant business profile. How to boost your credit score or your children's credit score. And the dope part I even mentioned, not only is this funding for you, this funding is for your wife or your husband, your significant other, your cousin, your brother, your mother, your partner. So now instead of just you getting 50,000, let's get five of your family members, loved ones, friends, partners, colleagues, associates, 50,000. And now y'all got 250,000 between you. And now you leverage that 250,000 with the bank's money and then you go out with that and you even do a million dollar project. But you have to understand the opportunity cost of money, your ROI, how to analyze the deals, how to use leverage properly. All these things are the things that I teach, that I live, that I've been successful by. My track record speaks for itself. I'm not making these things up. This is my real life. So no one, in my opinion, that comes from the beginnings I've come from does it better than me outside of music, entertainment, or sports.
When it comes to sheer business on business, I'm going to be up there with the best of them. And I'm comfortable with that. And I plan on getting better and better and growing more and more and leaving my legacy with each one of you all who find some value in what I'm saying. Because you know you don't know enough about enough. Because I didn't know all this 13 years ago. I didn't know half of this seven years ago. I didn't know some of this two years or one years ago. I'm constantly evolving in business. And as I'm like, that's why I used to call myself before young Malcolm, I would say Black Robin Hood. I called myself Black Robin Hood because I was still a game from the rich and give it back to the poor. I was still a game from rich communities and give it back to my community, which is in last place. Because I understood the game, I could comprehend the game, I test the game out, and when I see that it works, or it's a hit, or it's a win, I go give the game back to my community, like Robin Hood. Rob the rich, steal from the poor. I'm not robbing the rich's assets, but I'm robbing the rich's knowledge base and their strategy. And so although I didn't grow rich myself, although I didn't get any formal education myself, although I have no degrees or PhDs on my wall, not one. I got a, I got a, my only certificate I got in there is a certificate for graduating intense supervision parole. That's my certificate. I got a streets award, but no bragging, no touting. But I did in my, that's why I'm so proud of my business and my organization. I did earn my way into entrepreneurship legitimately, not hustle. See, hustle is informal business or unformalized business. I ain't talking about you being a hustler. Many of us are hustlers. I've been hustling since I was 15. Actually, I was a hustler since fourth grade when I was selling marbles in my classroom. But to be a legitimate businessman or woman, a business mogul, to run an enterprise or organization, to have a solid infrastructure, right, that can produce revenue for you and your family, to do that, whether it be in real estate or something else, is a whole different skill. It's something that most don't know, most don't get, and most have not been very successful at. Anybody can flip a house. It's a great model. That's why I love real estate investing. I think it's real, real estate investing is one of the easiest business models in the world. So learn that and do that to the capacity in which you will. But outside of just real estate investing, there's so many more businesses and, and business models that we can be successful at if you just stop, slow down, and pay attention and go learn something different, learn something new, and then I'll show you all the strategies I know on how to finance those ideas, all those ambitions you had, that salon, that barbershop, that weave company, that app, that website, that concierge company, the studio time, that record label, that Bitcoin, all those investments that have been running around in your brain, let someone coach you and mentor you on how to actually be successful and plan out your thoughts, map out your business vision, and execute the business. And then let us show you how to fund the business. All those businesses. Why you might even do real estate on the side or in the front and do the businesses on the side. So anyway, I'm done. It's a wrap. I told you, Gene, I'm not going to make this long. You know, I get talking and stuff. I'm all passionate. But listen, this is your opportunity to get with us. jmorrisonacademy.com, 1-844-JOIN-JMA. This is the real deal. Again, my track record speaks for itself. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. About a thousand videos. It'll show you exactly who I am and what I've been doing the last several years. Real work. Not just talk. Real work. Not just for looks and likes. Real love. All right? So it's the opportunity for us to get funded, for us to learn what they never taught us, to know what you didn't know, and opportunity for us to grow together. So make sure you, again, if you're, not, if you're someone watching this and you haven't, subscribe to my fan page. Honestly, I need to hit 100,000 Facebook, Facebook fans before the end of the year. We got 10 days and I got 1,000 to go. We got 10 days and I got 1,000 new people that like my fan page. So share and encourage people to like if you haven't done that. If you're someone who hasn't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm about five or 6,000, I think 5,000, maybe 4,000 off my YouTube channel from 100,000 subscribers. I love to hit that too. They might be pushing it, I don't know. But if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, you haven't subscribed yet, please go to J Mr. Real Estate YouTube channel and subscribe. Get me up there. IG, I'm popping already, you know what I'm saying? I'm good, I'm over 100K. But everything else, yo, we just working, man. I love y'all. Thank you for joining. Tomorrow, another business lesson tomorrow. 
I'll be bringing in experts and friends of mine. It's not going to be the Jay Morrison show. I'm going to bring in some other experts that we'll live stream with and we'll interview and we'll see what they've done in their businesses and how you can fund and operate and be successful in their businesses. We're going to have nine more businesses. This campaign for 50% off our coaching and 50% off our application fee for credit to cash easy funding ends midnight, December 31st. New year, new bankroll, blowing money slow. Let's get paid. Let's live a rich and fruitful life. But let's plan on intentionally leaving a legacy and generational wealth for our babies and our babies' babies. Like, let's get fly. Let's talk that ish. Let's get some money. Let's live a rich and comfortable and exciting life. But let's be intentional about setting up generational wealth that we never were handed down and setting up legacy, assets, cash flow, residual income, appreciation, equity, and all that good stuff for our babies and our babies' babies. All right, I'm out. JM, peace. Garage Mastermind.